Hey guys, what's going on today? Here it is, Fat Man. Today we got episode number eight, seven or eight of COD Zombies on Popular Opinions. We'll find out later, but um, anyway, I got my friend, my good friend Joltz here. Joltz, how you doing, bro? Hello. Good. So, how are you, Matt? I'm good. I'm good. It's been a while. Joltz is one of my zombies friends. I've been playing with him for years. He's pretty thick and sick. Um, haven't done the series in a while, but this question was, what's your unpopular opinions on Wonder Weapons and Call of Duty Zombies? And we got some really interesting ones, so without further ado, we're going to get into it. So the first one comes from my other friend, Eager Beaver, and he says the ray gun was never good. And I agree with this. I feel like it's unpopular because a lot of like people that casually play zombies, like you say, like your, your school friends and stuff, they'll be like, the ray gun's sick. I love the ray gun. But us like pros know that the ray gun's dog ass. Honestly, I disagree with this. You think the ray gun's good? On certain maps or certain situations. Like, okay. For example, on Shadows of Evil, it is amazing. But on Dry's Jack, it's trash. In what situation is it good for Shadows? Like, why? Uh, it can two shot a Margo's head. It can one shot a meatball for the special enemy, basically. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Because Shadows is infested with those things. I don't know. The ray gun's good in World at War. It's one of the, it's it is the wonder weapon on some of those World at War maps. So I could see it, but as time like went on, the ray gun kind of just became really bad, especially in like Black Ops Four. I will say this too: if you don't use PhD with the ray gun in BO One, it's not good. Yeah, but it's just fun. Like the aesthetics of the OG ray gun are just so so fun. Now the next question comes from out of context. Tim or Phoenicals, and he says the Thunder Gun is better than the Apothecan Servant because the Servant only sucks them in and hardly gets many. The Thunder Gun gets the whole horde. That was a little hard to read, but this is just stupid in my opinion. The Apothecan is literally objectively, statistically, like the best wonder weapon ever. And it will always outduel the Thunder Gun. How do you how do you feel about this? Doesn't the Thunder Gun two shot zombies in like round 90? Yeah, like the that. Thunder Gun is not that viable. It's cool and it's fun to use on the lower high rounds, but the Apothecan could literally take you to around 255. Now, I respect this opinion, Phoenicals, but it's just not correct, in my opinion. I don't the know. The Apothecan like, has unlimited damage. The Apothecan's unlimited damage. It literally sucks the zombies in. If you're trapped in a corner, you could shoot the Apothecan on the ground and you're good. Sometimes the Thunder Gun just doesn't work. Like, it literally will just yeah. go right through them. It's like. I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is like the wind staff being your favorite staff. Like that just doesn't happen. <laughs> you definitely like the wind staff. I definitely just called you. Yeah, I do. Answer. Anyway, uh, our next unpopular opinion comes from the lagger rages. He says the winter's howl is hella underrated in BO1. Just got to know how to use it. I love the five black ops one winter's howl. Really? I completely agree with this. That gun is one of my sleeper wonder weapons. It might Why be. That? It's good. You can, because high rounding in Black Ops 1 for me in my childhood was getting like round 30, 35. If you're only getting to that round with the Winter's Howl, that's pretty fucking crazy and it's fun to use. It freezes the zombies. The aesthetic's beautiful. The fact that the Pentagon people were working on a gun that shoots ice like underground, I just feel like the whole aesthetic of the Wonder Weapon's sick. I don't know why I think of the BO1 Winter's Howl. I think of Rook on BO1. Yeah. Not five. I, that's fair. But also, it's the first elemental Wonder Weapon ever, technically. Maybe. The one off right. lightning, but it was the first true, like, stepping out of the box using, like, ice or fire or something. I haven't played BO1 in such a long time, but the way I remember this, it wasn't that good. But maybe yeah. I'm wrong. It laid the foundation for Elemental Wonder Weapons, though, and it laid the foundation for, like, the ice staff and the ice voyage gun. I don't remember what that one's called, but it's something like that. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. But that's a good one, Lagger. I, I completely agree with you. I feel like a lot of people hate the Winter's Howl for no reason. They never really give it a shot. Now, in BO3, it's better, but it's not as fun to use. It kind of just sprays. Like, I don't know. The BO3 went... BO4, sorry. That Winter's Howl just doesn't do it for me like the BO1 one. It's just so much more really? powerful. Yeah. Dude, in BO1... I think the BO4 one's miles better than the BO1 one. Well, yeah, it, it technically is buffed and it's better, but it doesn't feel as, like, hefty and powerful. Like, I feel like I'm holding a little shit pistol in BO4. In BO1, I feel like I'm packing a fucking alien gun. I don't remember how it feels in BO1, but in BO4, you literally shoot like a blizzard. Yeah. I think it's so sick. I, I, I just think the Winter's Howl is underrated as a whole. Like, I feel like Wonder Weapons in general don't need to be crazy powerful. They can be bad. That makes it more fun. It makes it more challenging. That's why I appreciate the Winter's Howl so much in Black Ops 1. It's on a hard map as well. Yeah. It just adds... I love it, five, it, so. It's the cherry on top to the 5 experience, in my opinion. <laughs> so the next one we got 
It's Dr. Ultimus saying the Sliquifier is the best wonder weapon ever, and it's only fitting because it's on one of the best maps ever. I'm gonna let you take this one, Jolts. Oh boy, where do I start? Sliquifier is good, but I think that he's remembering the pre patch one where it was like yeah. super broken. Now it's a pretty average one at best. How do you feel about the, the best map ever, too, though? Um, I think he meant to say one of the worst maps ever, honestly. That's fair, but uh, I completely agree with you, Dr. Ultimus. Liquify is one of my favorite wonder weapons ever. It's so fucking cool. Who wouldn't want to shoot liquid at zombies and disintegrate them and it makes a chain reaction? You can literally take out a horde with one bullet. It's so easy to build. Diarize is a ton of fun. It has a bunch of training and camping spots. It's diverse. You can literally camp anywhere on the map. Elevator shaft. Uh, staircase. Buddha room. And it's just so wide open for training and it's vertical. I love Die Rise. I love the Sickle Fire. I think this is great on popular opinion. Totally agree with this. I don't think a lot of people will, including Jolts. But I, I like it. I like it. I do think that the only reason I have a problem with this is because I have a bad habit of shooting myself off the map with the Sickle Fire. Mm. So I feel like if mm -hmm. I knew how to use it better. I, I like how it adds a dynamic to the map too because once you shoot it on the ground, you got to be careful because you'll go slipping off and that is not good. It is not something you want. No is there another wonder weapon like it like is that uh, it for making like the ground slippery or changing the environment of a map like the dynamics technically technically the kp4 makes you go faster yeah but it's not the same effect the ray gun mark 2 can give you a boost in the mauser but that doesn't really count Speaking of the Raygun Mark II, White Womble says <laughs> Raygun Mark II is overrated. It's not better, or it's better than the Mark I, but it's shit past around 25 to 30. This one's My controversial. Fucking dude. Like, I don't, I don't know. He's kind of right, but I love the Mark II. Mark II is sick, but he's right when it drops off. And 25 to 30. Well, the thing that's weird about these Wonder Weapons lists is, like, there's really only, I would say, five to eight Wonder Weapons that are incredible for high rounding. And, like, you know, the Mark II, it, it's not a high rounding Wonder Weapon, but that shouldn't take away from how good it is, you know? Because Zombie's health, it's all, like, it forms different. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Because when the Mark II's good, it's really good. But it doesn't pass the barrier of, like, infinite damage. And there's only a certain amount of Wonder Weapons that do. That's why I think this Unpopular Opinion is so interesting, because it's it's really all super, you know, subjective. I don't well, know. Do you know if he's talking about the one in Block Ops 2 or Block Ops 3? Probably 2, 3. It's, a, I, it's just all of them. If I remember correctly, 3, it's a beast. In 3, Block it's... I think it's better in 2. In 2, it's a laser gun, and it shoots a lot faster. You, dude, in BO3, I don't even think it does collateral damage. Doesn't it stop at the zombies? I think it does. You're it right. It shreds through BO2. But if you're talking, like, the, the Raygun Mark II's legacy was kind of fixed with Alpha Omega, because you have elemental ones, which technically makes them super OP. But I don't think we're counting those. Nah, I wouldn't. Well, if it, com if it comes down to the Alpha Omega ones, would you say they're overrated, too? If it came down to those Overrated? Elemental? Yeah. No, I would say they're a lot underrated. Of hate Alpha actually. Omega and yeah. the Mark II. I it's only hated because it's not creative. It's like Elemental it's Mark not. II's. Like I could have slammed ahead a new brick and got that idea. But if you but told anyway. me five years ago that you'd be able to play with a infinite ammo Raygun Mark II, that shoots fucking be lasers amazing. and electricity. Yeah. And then we uh, got Barkov memes saying the Wind Staff is the best staff. It's literally the worst staff, but I want to know what, what do you think? No. It's the worst no, it's staff. Not. The lightning staff's the worst staff. And no. I love the lightning staff. Lightning staff's my favorite staff, but it sucks. The unupgraded wind staff, it can get you to the hundreds. The unupgraded wind staff is miles behind the unupgraded lightning staff. Yeah, that's fair. When you upgrade them, oh, it's a different out. story. But I would argue that I would, if I'm on round 40, I'd rather have an unupgraded lightning staff than an upgraded wind staff. And really? And I'm holding my ground on that. Because the lightning staff is super fun and you could spray that bitch. The well, wind staff. Yeah, but just it's, the weird. damage is not there with the lightning staff. I don't care though. I just hate the wind staff. It's just like, I always just thought it was a thunder gun ripoff. Like, fuck you. Like, the Lightning Staff's cooling out there. It takes the same element that the Wonder Waff uses, but uses it completely differently. The Wind Staff is literally a pocket Thunder Gun. That's worse. It does less damage than the Thunder Gun. If we're talking about unupgraded. And then upgraded, it just takes the Ice Staff's power. 
so it's unupgraded. Not either. Every staff stops being used for like round 20. Upgraded, the wind staff and the ice staff are the two best by far. Lightning staff stops killing at like round 40. I'll give you lightning's the worst upgraded staff. But if we're counting factors here, I'm taking I'm taking lightning over wind. I don't know why we're talking about lightning so much, but I just really don't like it's not the best staff. Because if you say the the wind staff is the best staff, that's just saying it out in the open. It's the worst regular and like the second or third best upgraded. So it's not the best. It's not all around best. All around best is probably ice, like objectively. So this is incorrect. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it is incorrect. But but it's a that's good why it's a series. I appreciate you submitting it, dude. Now, uh, the next one is Thunderstruck115 saying, Alistair's Annihilator is easily the best one-up in all zombies. I really like this one. He, you can, so he, can give, he can give you a run for your money with this. Alistair's Annihilator is so fun to use. It's really overpowered. Honestly, I would, I would it's, say it's better than the Apothecan. Yeah, like, dude, this is actually a really good one. Damage. And because silver bullets give you infinite ammo, right? I don't know how the map oh, works. Oh, you can't get it on the Wonder Weapon. Uh, I'm stupid. How does it have infinite ammo then? Does it recharge? That's the infinite. I'm at infinite damage. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it has four different elements, like the way you shoot it, right? And it's random, yeah. so that's what makes it th all the much cooler. I would say Alistair's Annihilator is one of the funnest wonder weapons to use, like of all time. It's just fun to run around with. It's a little pocket Annihilator that shoots fucking elements and runs through zombies. And the origin of it's so cool. If you're into the chaos storyline, at least. All twelve of us. <laughs> I'll give you 13. I, I, I think. <laughs> you coming around? Uh, like 12 and a half. <laughs> I love I love Ancient Evil. I like Nine. I despise Voyage, and I haven't given Dead of the Night a chance really. You should do so. that sometime, because literally, Dead of the Night is probably the most underrated map in Zombie. You think there's a whole e yeah there's a whole experience that I have yet to know about? Definitely. Definitely. If you can get past the 50,000 parts you need to grab, it's a really, really good map. Maybe I'll give it a shot one day. It's just quite possibly. Now, quickly coming in, we have the final unpopular opinion coming from Adrian, or Adrian DS 115 saying the Magma Gat is terrible compared to the Acid Gat. This just doesn't make sense to me. The Magma Gat is miles better, in my opinion. Oh, hold on. Is he talking about the BO4? BO4. BO4. Blood oh, yeah, no, this is this is wrong. I do have something that might go against what I just said, though. If you're on PhD, the acid gat's nuts. If you run PhD. Last time I ran it, it stopped killing zombies in the team, so. Yeah, but it can get you out of sticky situations. I don't know, just the whole way the acid gat works in BO4 is kind of broken. The magma gat, like, I feel like they just put the acid gat in for fun. No one gets the acid gat anymore. It's literally, literally unheard of. Money. When you play BO4, Blood of the Dead, you never, ever get the acid yet. The Magna Collider or Magma... Wait, it's not called the Magna Collider. That's, uh, that's the MG08. Yeah. What's the upgrade of Magma get called? Magma... Magamus Operandi, I think. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's true. That's true. All right, so coming in next, we got Dai Bing saying the KT4 is top tier. People just don't use it effectively. I agree with this. Wholeheartedly agree. I love the KT4. I've heard people shit on it nonstop. If you upgrade the KT4 and camp in the elevator shaft in like the boss fight arena, you're pretty much invincible. And it's one of the most fun camping spots because it's just the atmosphere is cool. The Masamune is beautiful. And the way it kills the zombies and like they bubble up and it insta kills spiders and it's very powerful against thrashers. I think it's one of the most balanced wonder weapons because it's not overpowered by any means, but it's really good and underrated. Plus, it gives you a speed boost. You don't even have to camp somewhere with a very long hallway like the boss fight arena. Yeah. You can camp by the zipline in Gen A and still decimate zombies. Would you, do good. you like the Sliquifier or the KT4 better? KT4. Easily KT4. Mm. That's interesting. Because they're, they're kind of similar. But I'd yeah. still pick the Sliquifier. The Sliquifier is just more fun to use. That? But KT4 is still huge sleeper. Huge sleeper. I'd argue that. I'd say that the Sliquifier is not that fun to use. How? You literally have to like strategize the way you're killing zombies and you group them up. In KT4, you just blindly shoot. It gets boring. Don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it gets boring. Blindly shoot. <laughs> you just can't just put a blindfold on and play, but... It's not yeah, a Stormbow man. broken. No, Stormbow broken is not fun, though. Say it's not fun or it is fun? It's not fun. Stormbow? No, Make sure not. I'm shooting myself. I, I don't even grab the Stormbow anymore in Dragon Dragon. I, my favorite right now is Fire and Void. 
Same here. Fire and Void are so fun to use. Wolf is just the most boring thing ever, and Lightning is also the most boring thing ever. I like the Wolf Bow. I don't have a problem with it. But Storm Bow gotta go. The Wolf so Bow is... Boring. <sighs> How do they make by far the best bow, by far the easiest to make? The Wolf? Doesn't make sense. No, Wait, you think Storm Bow. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? You know, yeah, no. Storm is so easy to make, but Wolf's also easy. But the challenging ones, Void is probably... Actually, I don't know. What do you think is harder, Void or Fire? We're going a little off topic, but it's a fire. Wonder Weapon video, so we're good. I'd say Fire is more difficult to make. Okay. Because you have to do the uh, one to sure shots. But if you had to do one without watching a tutorial before, like you have no idea how to do it, you're, you're taking Fire, right? If you had to figure it out. Uh, no. I'd still take Void. How are you going to figure out the Void Bow without without knowing how to do it? How, are you, okay, how well, the fuck are you doing let's, let's think about the process of Void Bow. You've got to melee a zombie on top of a glowing panel. That's pretty okay. easy to find out. Grab six skulls around the map. Okay. Hard to find. Not really. If you keep your eye out for them, you know what one looks like. And you'll be able to find all six reasonably quick. Okay, how are you going to translate Stag, Horn, and Griffin to those symbols I mean, and correlate them together? What do you mean? That's hard to figure out, bro. Fire, you have to shoot the rock after the rocket launch, and then, you know, No one's gonna be paying chest. attention towards that, because the only reason that one would think is for the Ragnarok part, to go down a rocket test. One would think to look outside and shoot the thing in three seconds. I wish we could take, like, two people that don't know how to do zombies and make them figure it out, but that's hard. Like, I don't even know how people find that stuff. That's why zombies are impressive. That's crazy. Like, I don't know how people just figure it out. But anyway, I'll never understand how people found out how to upgrade the staffs. I wasn't in a community at the time. I, can't I really was, how and I just didn't. Was. I remember when the first staff was built, everyone was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, there's a fire wonder weapon. We all thought it was just fire. Or it was something like that. There was only one done, though. It was crazy. It was so cool. I, I miss when nobody knew how to build the staffs. We were just running that around Origins headless. I was such a kid. Like, I was literally, I was 12. I might have been 11 at that time. It was an interesting time to be a zombies player. But um, we have the finale opinion. We got Nando or Doctor of Doom saying, I think Black Ops 2 brought the best wonder weapons. Jet Gun, Slick Fire, Blundergat, Slash Ash Get, Paralyzer, Mark II, and all the staffs. I still think Black Ops 3 and 4 have better weapon, wonder weapons than 2. All around, if you think about it. Because the bows, stupid overpowered. Apothecan, stupid overpowered. KT4, pretty damn good. Mark III okay and then you have an upgraded apothecan and a thunder gun in bo3 i think that's better than bo2's lineup the only two broken wonder weapons in black ops 3 would be the apothecan servant and the uh storm bow but in black ops 2 you have the jet gun which is infinite damage ah but it's shit it breaks uh, yeah but if you use it right you can infinite ammo infinite damage Slickle fire. fire you were just praising it which is good the acid gat's amazing the paralyzer is infinite ammo and it slows down zombies, and you can fire on the map, which is awesome. And the staffs. The Ice staff acid get is, is a broken. piece of shit past, like, round 40. Yeah, but it helps. It's a very good defensive weapon to help get you out of corners and stuff. So do you agree so with in this? in that aspect, it's broken. Do you think Black Ops 2 has the best lineup? Yes. Really? I think Black Ops 4 has a better lineup, too. The Voyage Wonder Weapons are nuts. The Scorpion on 9 is better than most of these Wonder Weapons. The uh, the Magma Gat's better than the Ash Gat. Which is how I can't even speak for that. That's not true. And then you have the Gloves, which are better than most of the Wonder Weapons. I don't know. I would, I would still take BO4. I would take BO4s and BO3s Wonder Weapons over BO2s. As much as I love BO2 as a game, it under-delivered with Jet Gun, Acid Gat, and the Paralyzer heats up so that dynamic's pretty annoying. I don't know. That's a good one, though. I really like that one. That's that's a very good opinion, I'd say, at least. But uh, I wouldn't have thought that until he said it. That's and now I think about it. It's it's right, honestly. It's right. I, I guess he can give you a run for your money. I'm sticking to the debate of not agreeing. But that's pretty much it for today's episode of Unpopular Opinion. You guys should totally go check out Jolt and his YouTube channel. Do you have anything to say before I end this video? Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. No problem, dude. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching.